Let's roll. <laughs> Kids, don't try this at home. So what we have right here is a mock-up of the first experiment that we did. Um, these are not real plutonium plates, um, but they are designed to be the exact size and shape. Um, so they're about uh, three inches by two inches by an eighth of an inch. Uh, clad plutonium in stainless steel. Uh, these are uh, trays that we used to stack 24 of these plutonium plates on. Um, these are really thin aluminum plates that have a, a picture frame of polyethylene around the sides, and that's to hold the plutonium in. And the aluminum provides a good purpose because it's actually um, allowing heat to dissipate in the assembly. So it's kind of like a radiator. You can think about it on the side here. Um, what we'd like to do um, is we would like to approach critical uh, very slowly. Fission is uh, naturally occurring um, in certain isotopes. When you get enough nuclear material together, you could have a, a, a critical chain reaction. Um, these happen actually every day in uh, nuclear power plants um, where they like to stay you know, right at critical or uh, right below critical so that they're producing um, lots of neutrons in a very uh, predictable way. So in our experiments, we're wanting to create assemblies um, in configurations with the plutonium and polyethylene uh, that are just critical. When we start the experiment, we want to put a known subcritical amount onto the table to start out. Um, so in our case, we started with half of a layer of plutonium. Um, so we just had our bottom reflector, one of these layers. Um, we did a checkerboard pattern with uh, plutonium and aluminum blanks. And then we uh, measured the neutron population coming off of that assembly. Then what we did is we exchanged the aluminum blanks in, in this tray for plutonium, and uh, we took an, another measurement. And uh, what we can do is we can actually plot inverse count rate um, versus the amount of mass we have in the assembly, and uh, then it allows us to do a safe extrapolation to how much mass we think will actually go critical in the assembly. 